Hello, Gemini. I'm Tony from Intuit Activity. I'm here with the Who's Ghosting? Who Read for Geminis. Um, hit that like, share, and subscribe button on your way in. I'm just pulling energy for everyone. If you would like to know when I'm on for another read for your sign and you're liking the content over here, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading another video. If you would like to add or donate to the channel, please uh, go in the description box and there's some information there for you to take advantage of that as well. Thank you for uh, coming on the channel here. Um, I literally was getting a, a channel message of uh some type of obsession but this is more so the first card that got pulled was hierophant and hierophant is like a maybe an older gentleman um that a older gentleman here um gemini's you may be in this energy you may be an older energy uh older gemini who is ghosting and that's what I was getting from the energy when I got it. That is this person with more of like a wise uh, frame of mind. Um, he goes by certain uh, older morals and backings or what have you. And then there is a queen of swords here. You pulled the queen of swords, which is water sign. Um, you may be ghosting a um, person who's over expressive like she 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 she's not she's highly intelligent but it's like she she's not conservative i would say um for this sophisticated air sign that i'm reading for so you may be um have gotten ghosted by this person maybe she was just uh, too clear in her communication and the way she expressed herself maybe you didn't take that as graceful as she was trying to put it and this may be you may be dealing here with a cancer scorpio or pisces okay so like i said i feel like that's an older um this is an older gemini read like an older male or older female you know it's no gender in tarot so this may be um I'm picking up an older person, someone with older uh, beliefs. Okay, you also have here Gemini. So, um, yeah, this may be about a lover's issue situation. You may be ghosting another Gemini. Yeah, I don't see that you ghosted this person because of anything malicious like cheating or anything like that it was more so like maybe this person wasn't really uh up for commitment this may be you gemini or the person that you were dating um you also may be dealing with a earth sign here who you may have rushed in this situation with them. You have the page of swords. You may have rushed in this situation um, with this earth sign, which is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You may have felt that this person was too talkative or something like that is what I'm getting. Like this person is just mouthy, you know, and you not really sitting in that kind of energy you don't really uh talk much here gemini so this person just blah 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 you know virgo taurus capricorn which is kind of weird but uh this person is a little talkative or they're forceful and they're they're kind of like maybe aggressive or too curious or something like that so you didn't really care for that there gemini so let's pull more energies for your read here for gemini's who's ghosting who okay you have the tower here which is a fire sign aries leo sag you may be have went through some type of tower moment with this person can consist of some type of living situation and i'm getting that this person literally just got a reality check here uh this aries leo sag and just kind of felt like <laughs> You didn't give a shit because you kind of like either put them out or you left and you haven't talked to this person since. 
also you have the page of cups here which is an earth sign um you and you definitely have earth twice on the board and maybe here more than, okay yep you have earth twice on the board so um you may be dealing with this earth sign see the 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 other earth sign was like you kind of left them alone because they was aggressive talkative and kind of you know just not really your your cup of tea so this person is maybe too sensitive or something like that like maybe they whine or crying or bitch a lot or maybe you know something of that nature is what i'm picking up for this other earth energy and or you may be just dealing with the earth sign definitely so <clears throat> spirit give me more energies for the who's ghosty who here with gemini i have the king of cups which is a fire energy and then um earth energy again with the world card um this earth sign you are definitely if you are definitely dealing with the earth sign who may be a little bit whiny talkative you know it's just something about this person you don't like the attitude this is what's really coming out here earth is really coming out for um your the, the person that you're definitely dealing with which is taurus virgo or capricorn so <clears throat> This person feels like if y'all do certain things to or with each other, like if y'all went out and, you know, had more time with each other or something, something like that. Maybe they were looking for a commitment and you weren't here, Gemini. So whatever this earth sign was looking for, you wasn't in agreement with that. So you kind of just said, fuck it. Yeah, because I, I mean, Gemini's are like really cutthroat okay you also have uh earth earth is coming out you got just poured the empress okay so there's definitely a, a earth sign that you're dealing with here gemini okay and that is taurus virgo capricorn a taurus may be um significant because that was the first card on the board which was the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, which is Earth energy. So, I don't know who this Taurus is, but they just dominated the shit out of your read. And then, here you here is Capricorn, meaning they had, uh, and now that's the clarification. They had some type of, and there's <laughs> Earth sign again, you know, they had some type of obsessive uh, be behaviors or so, or what have you, Gemini. And this is why the ghosting uh came about for you for this earth sign this taurus virgo capricorn and i hate to be repetitive but that's the energy that's coming out mainly taking over to read um this person wanted a relationship they were doing things to get your attention maybe in them stalking or you know excessively calling you from different numbers or just constantly calling you or something like that with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, Gemini. So whatever the case, like I've been telling everybody in these reads that I'm doing right here, the ghosting reads, the who's chasing who, that's the name of the reads overall as to who's chasing who. But this is a ghosting segment that I'm doing for Intuit Activity. If you like it, hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. I appreciate all that come and um, join in, really, the festivities over here. I love these little reads and um, getting in um, in the energy of what's going on. So that's what I have for you here today, Gemini. Just remember, like, if you're really looking forward to love, remember to pray and ask God for specific things that you would like in this particular person that you are um seeking to have you know so you know be specific whether it's about the personality the feet the the hair the eyes the whatever you know it doesn't matter when you go to god then you get what you need and then that god can align you with that so in the meantime between time remember to change your energy over here on my damn channel <laughs> i'm tony from intuit activity y'all stay safe and have a wonderful day